Running to sides at senior level have had some big battles in the past, none bigger than in the 1999 Rugby World Cup. Tonga winning against Italy at Welford Road in Leicester, 28-25 to score on that day. It's just a, it's, it's at this moment, as a, as a former back, when you watch the scrum going down, you think to yourself, do you know any jokes, Brian? It's only time to put on the kettle, isn't it? I've got one for you. Why did the mushroom go to the party? Tell me. Because he was a fun guy. That's about on the par with a reset scrum. It's Italy ball. Tapiche getting knocked backwards. Minto with a pick up. Referee still playing advanced here to Italy. 20 seconds left in the half. Well, we really have seen very little that's inspired since the try from Bacchino. Vossawai with a pick up. Bacchino, I think, may well be looking. Well, somebody might slip back in the pocket for a drop goal attempt at the moment. I think it would be entirely on par with the quality of the contest we've had in the 40 minutes leading up to this. There it is for Tabaldi. Bocchino, Pradichetti. Pradichetti and then coming in with Herber from fullback. The ball's gone forward. And that will bring an end. Well, that has been, in all honesty, a very long 40 minutes of record. If you wonder, wow. Like, probably the tackle would have been made in Pradichetti. But so was this Casino, 10 years of age. Just cracks himself, breaks the line, and the key thing is, gets the offload away, out of the tackle. Bruno goes through, looking for the offload. Nice to play there from the lock. Within six or seven metres, Bocchino, out to Bratichetti, and Andrea Bratichetti gets the ball down. Well, it was Matteo, who was the star of the first two Italy performances. Kenny with a bit out there from George Bernard Bacchino going back as well. He played his time. Oh, this is a classic four on three here. And managed to suck in the second defender to the Lois Bernal. Extra couple of yards to work in. And it's just about the strength of Trafficetti. And all of a sudden, the smiles are on the Italian A's faces. I argue, well, he's. Lethal with the ball at half, but he's not the biggest. Oh, so Baldi's had a good day with the boots so far. It's without a doubt, though, the most difficult. It's for a 17 point lead. Very well indeed, just drifting a little, but staying within the upright. 20. The first Pratic Heavy Brothers just run the short line, which allows the burn over the wide space. And they just keep on using. Very much the USA have actually come on in these 10 days that they've had together. They were actually pumped by Tonga, 24 13, before coming out and putting on a much better display against Russia. Sioni Fanua has moved into the centre, replacing father to Marty Seeley. And plays the Teachers Eastern Club in Auckland. Happy here. There's Murat. Iongi. Great set from Iongi. Here's the scene. Well, it's in short over it. Absolutely beautiful to watch and just ruthlessly efficient. 
the perhaps springs his pick up, doesn't it? Almost on a standstill. The knees are pumping. He's not the tallest man. But he gets out of the blocks. One of the best 60 meter sprinters. And we saw it there with a glorious step as well. Also, just goes to show how effective this tongue inside can be when they get their platform set, when they get first phase ball. The scrum, it wasn't perfect, but at least they managed to get it on their own terms. Montreal kick for Kurt Murrow. 19 points against the stage. Four against England, but that one really. That was like 20 or three was off the city. Smack up almost. Stop a little bit of bleeding here for the Italians. And. Flirting with the left and upright, but not coming back. The pick go. Then Dizzy, the wing is right in there. Bit of a push and a shove from Kistellini. Well, Tonga, well, Tonga have got it. They've done well. That was a crucial intervention. Have you? No mistake that time. And Tony Zapp trying to inject a bit of pace. A little bit of indecision there as well, though. Back to Bocchino. I didn't get hold of that at all. I don't think Trevor Zapp expected the ball. I don't think he wanted it either. So it didn't work out at all, and as you say, that he did work hard all afternoon. Six behind. Not working out. Despite the victory, you just get the feeling that the, the scoreline, some of the results have slightly flattered in the A in this tournament. And then Bradiketti, straight into uh, Eddie Pye. Tony Alate. Tony Alate, a try against the Russians at King Kong. Cavaldi, he's got Ferno alongside him. Good work, Ferno, out of the back of the hand. But Dizzy thought he was in for a second one there. And Trevi Zayn looks the ball, gone backwards. The work that he has done close around the fringes, and in some big, big tackles, but it's also been very visible in the open weather. It's giving passes, as being a link man for running lines. It's been the Italian A, Cooker, Tomasi, Dapice. He's had a, a super game, and has also been at the heart of the Italian A scrum. And the line has responded a bit better to my Churchill Cup man of the match. Tommaso the funny, the Australian played the club rugby for Agile in the top 14. Made 23 appearances in this season, French Championship. Yongi, one class out. Hello. We're playing advantage here to Tonga. Tommaso funny, who played a lot of his rugby this season. At Frog, Iongi, Malipo in space, Malipo's going to go, all the way. For these exciting packs, so one on one, a case to burn, lovely feet, and good balance. I suppose coming up. The final act, a conversion from Kurt Murat, which is slotted. And it's the Italians who take the play. They finish off effectively third in this final Churchill Cup. Doctor Drew's on to far too little. A couple of moments of magnificence. One from Villani Yongi. Everyone is a bit there from Mateo. Italy, well, they played a bit from the start. Good try from Ricardo De Kino very early in the game. Andrea Fratichetti. Second round, what effect the team we need to score first? And uh, we did it, we did that on the